Hi, my name is Sam, and today I'll be showing you how to use MIDI pedals in Paradiddle VR. First, let's go over what MIDI is. MIDI is a communication standard that is used to connect digital musical devices together. There are 128 possible MIDI notes, and you can think of them kind of like the keys on a keyboard. Each note is assigned a sound, so that when that note is played, a sound plays. MIDI notes also convey velocity information, so if you hit the note harder, the sound will be louder. To hook our pedal up to Paradiddle, we will need a MIDI interface. The interface turns electrical signals from the pedal into digital MIDI signals that can be read by your computer. I'm going to be using a D-Drum DDTI drum trigger interface, but most electronic drum modules also have MIDI out functionality. I will also be using a Yamaha KU100 kick pedal, but almost any electronic kick pedal should work. You can even use a keyboard sustain pedal if you wish, but you will lose control of the velocity of the notes. I'm going to plug the pedal into the kick drum port on the interface using the included quarter inch cable. The interface has a USB-B connector and should plug into any of your USB-A ports on your computer. This particular interface does not require any drivers. Be sure to look up your interface model and see if there are any required drivers. The interface should automatically set the correct settings for your pedal, but let's make sure first. Using a free program called MIDI View, we can read the MIDI information off of your interface. First, open the program and select your interface. Mine is labeled Trigger I.O. Now let's use our pedal and watch for any notes that pop up in the program. As you can see, our pedal is working correctly. It's reading the note as C1. MIDI notes can be displayed as musical notes, as seen here, or just numbers. Depending on where you look, sometimes the notes can change octaves. So while this program reads the note as C1, other documents might read it as C2. In Paradiddle, we use numbers to clearly indicate exactly what note we want. So let's change that by going to View, MIDI Note Description, and hit Number. The note number is 36. If we reference this to the MIDI guide on the Paradiddle website, you can see that the kick drum is activated by note 36, so our interface is set correctly. You can also see the harder I hit the pedal, the higher the velocity. Now, let's get this working within Paradiddle. But make sure you close MIDI View first, as only one program can connect to a MIDI interface at a time. Here we are inside of Paradiddle. First, let's set up a basic kit. Now that that's done, let's open the menu and go to Options, Audio, and set our MIDI input to the same input we checked before. Again, for me, it's labeled as Trigger I.O. Now we need to open the menu for our kick drum and set the MIDI input to on. Let's switch back to our sticks and hit the pedal to see if we set it up right. As you can see, the kick drum is being activated by the pedal. It can be played softer or harder depending on how hard we hit the pedal. Now you're all set. The next time you open Paradiddle, just hold down both triggers at the start and your previous kit should load up with all the settings where they need to be. If this video was helpful to you, be sure to give it a thumbs up, spread the word, and leave a comment on what topic we should cover next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.